my viewers, I want to welcome you to this exciting lesson where I'm going to show you how you can download and install your content libraries. You may agree with me that sometimes if you install especially the latest releases of Revit like Revit 2022, 2023 and 2024, most likely you are not going to have the libraries fully installed. For example, if I just click on my column there, go to Rib as an example, of course, it doesn't matter, the discipline can be anything. Just click OK, you see that nothing is loaded. So let me attempt to go to my libraries. Just click on OK. You see that this is the library that I have. Of course, if I just go back once there and just go to the and again, it can be the templates, it can be the libraries and also the samples, still the same. Okay, so I'll just go to libraries. You see that you have these countries. Some of you may just find that it's completely empty. Even if I have these folders in my case, this there is almost nothing as you can see. So this is what I want to show you when you, where you can find those libraries and how you can install them. So I'll simply close. For you, if you find nothing, actually follow the steps so that you are able to install all the libraries, the families, and the templates. So let me just close this one and show you where you need to go. So I'll just go to Google and just since I'm using Revit 2023, I'll just go to Google and type this one, Revit Libraries 2023, and you see this is free. You just need to go to Autodesk and... Just click there, the content libraries, as you can see, then if I go down, we have Revit 2023 content packs. Now, you just need to choose on what you want, depending on the region where we are. You can see we have Chinese, you know, UK, USA, Egypt, French, and all sorts of, you know, regions around the world. So, for me, I already downloaded, because I don't want to waste your time, I already downloaded, you know, the English, you know, for the USA and also for the UK. I've downloaded this one, which is 1.26 GB. So just click here and download the file. I will not waste that time because you can simply click there. And you can also, we see, we see have this other international English content pack. You can as well choose what you want and download. All right. So I'll just go to my file where I've downloaded. So this is the one. And what you need to do is for you to just install. I'll simply double click there. You can see that it will, you know, uh, start running and I'll not waste your time again. The steps are simple and easy to follow. You can proceed and you know install. So as I've said, I will not waste much of your time. I just want to show you how to start installing. So when you reach here, all you need to do is just to click on install and it will install. Once it finishes, you may maybe decide to restart your computer and that is all. So uh, let me just wait for it to install, then I'll be back. So as you can see, it has fully installed. I'll just click on finish here. Okay, so now I'll just try to see if my libraries have been loaded, if all my families and everything is there. Again, I'll just pick on the column. And I'll simply try maybe to, to try to load the, you know, the family there. Okay, first of all, I'll just escape. And instead of going there because I tried to load it, so I'll just go to insert this time so that you can see. I'll just go to insert, then load family. And let me just go back because in the background, I tried to check if it's already there. So you can see that we have the libraries here now. If I just go back here, if you want to know where the libraries are, I'll go back once again, go back, make sure that you go to program data, then just find RVT depending on the version which you are using. This is for me, it's RVT 2023. So let me just try to find that. All right, so let me just click once again there. Program data, Autodesk. Then we have RAVIT 2023. Okay, I'll just double click there. Now from here, this is where you can pick. If it's a template that you are looking for, you can do that. If it's a library, you can do that. But just be mindful of what you installed. For me, it was the US, you know, uh, Revit, you know, families, templates, and libraries, as you can see from here. So I want to check the libraries. I'll click there. Now from here, under US, of course, different with other regions, we have English and also Imperial English. So this is the one that I want to check. Those who are using just pure English, you can do that. So I'll go to English Imperial. And you can see that everything is here now, all right? So all the libraries are there, the annotations, you can see it's now fully loaded as you can see. Now, since I'm looking for the 
uh, for the for the river ships there. I'll go to uh, we have the structural river ships. I'll open there. These are imperial. Then I'll select everything like that and click on open so that everything can be loaded within my my project okay that was after the installation everything will be there within the installation folder all right so if i select on the column then just click there you can now see that this is the time that you are going to have this if i just click there if you don't see anything there so that you can see the river shapes just click the box there and you can see i chose the imperial so this is what you have again those who are using metric don't worry just pick whatever i want to use it will appear here it will look different if you want h bars y bars whatever you can pick whatever you want so this is what we have then if i try to tag remember we are trying to tag a column it couldn't you know work so i'll click on annotate tag by category then let me just try to pick the column yes of course this will come up but just click on yes and go back and now go to annotations okay go to annotations this is a column so i want to go to structural and make sure that you find the column right here uh structural column tag okay i'll load these two this one and this one because now i have it within my library initially there was nothing as you saw from the beginning click open so now you can see that if i just over my cursor there i'm able to have the tag there you can customize the tag to your liking that is entirely up to you i can select on the tag i picked two tags one was at 45 degrees the other one was at you know uh, just straight like that so i can do that so ladies and gentlemen don't panic when you install your software you don't see the libraries you know the families the templates and everything just download it install it and you'll be good to go thank you for watching if you like what i'm doing on this channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on the bell notification i have noticed that people are just watching you motivate me more if you like and subscribe to my channel see you in some upcoming lessons